Smart Helmet with Quick Ambulance Response System Abstract A smart helmet is used as protective headgear for the rider. The smart helmet is providing safety to the rider. This can be developed by using the method of alcohol detection, accident identification, location tracking, and fall detection which are uses as a hands-free device. It also makes a two-wheeler as a feature of smart bike. The rider must wear the helmet otherwise bikes will not start. An RF module is used as a wireless link for communication between transmitter, helmet unit, and receiver, bike unit. Dot if the rider is drunk the ignition gets automatically locked, and sends information to a contact number with the current location. In case of an accident, it will send a message through Google Firebase server along with location with the help of GPS module. Most important utility of this method is that fall detection and it will send a message when the rider falls down from the bike. Keywords Accident Detection, Smart Helmet, IoT, FSR, Gyro Sensor, GPS, Alcohol Sensor, QR Code, HAR-like Feature, MOG2. Introduction Background of Project In recent times helmets have been made compulsory in all states. In India, traffic accidents are increased day by day. From the Motor Vehicles Act, 1988, Section 129, we know that when a person rides a two-wheeler they should wear protective headgear which must be following the Bureau of Indian Standards. Also, from the Motor Vehicle Act 1939, we know that it is a criminal offense and the rider will get punishment if a drunken driving under the influence, DUI. But at present the bike rider forgot or intentionally does not follow the rules and regulation and if identified, they can easily overcome the situation from the law. This problem motivates us to design this technique. Statement of the problem During the study for the project, we got acknowledged to various scenarios, where, bike accident is occurred in remote places and rider cannot capable to communicate with ambulance or family increases the possibility of death of the person in case of late medical response. In past years road death increased to 1.49 lakh. Out of that, 25% crashes occurred with two-wheeler. Those who died, over 50% did. Not wear helmet. 1.5% bike crashes occurred due to drunken bike riding. Also, there have significance factor that people got helpless when they are facing such type of accident condition. So, by this project we are aimed to reduce the accident death by providing them health support. Aims and objective of the project. Proposed system. The first step is to identify whether the helmet is worn or not and to check whether the rider is drunken or not. If helmet is worn and the rider is not in drunken condition then ignition will start otherwise it remains off. For this, force sensing sensor, FSR, sensor and alcohol sensor are used. When the above condition is satisfied then only ignition can be started. The main issue is accident and late medical help. When accident is occurred, the rider cannot get any medical help immediately which lead to death of the person. Every second people die due to delay in medical help or in the case where the place of accident is unmanned. The system sends the news of accident immediately to the ambulance service database and to pre-registered mobile numbers with proper location using GPS. The ambulance database assigns nearest available ambulance to rescue the victims. In fall detection, we place accelerometer and gyro sensor in the bike unit. By this proposed method we can detect the accidents. Ambulance Driver Authentication In our smart helmet and quick response system the ambulance app plays a major role. When an accident occurs the smart box in the bike send the location to server and the location is marked in the app. So, the ambulance driver easily navigate to the location as soon as possible. We use email based user authentication. Every user has to register using email and password. All the passwords are stored as encrypted string. Complete pickup. When the ambulances picks up the victim and send to the nearest hospital the user click the complete button to update the database. Then the user can search again for a new device. Blind spot detection. In the proposed system, 
it detects the phase by calculating the HAR-like feature of each portion of the image and a window of the target size which is moved over the image. Now it compared with threshold value obtained by learning feature that separate between object and non-objects. Calculation of the speed is the most advantage of this proposed method. Since integral image is use, it generates the value of sum of a subset of rectangular shape in the grid very efficiently and quickly. Then it calculates the HAR-like feature in constant time. The figure 22 shows a single frame of a sample video. The image contains pedestrians as objects. Figure 23 is a snapshot of the output after using MOG2 background subtraction. The gray section under a vehicle represents the shadow of the vehicle. Next, we create the XML files of the various objects, target object, to be detected i.e., one XML file each for bus, car, two-wheeler. The steps involved in detecting the vehicles from the video is shown below. 7. Result and Discussion An embedded system designed for smart helmet and quick ambulance response system and its components are shown in Figure 6 and 7. The embedded device is placed in particular area for testing purpose. Helmet Unit FSR Sensor the FSR sensor detects the pressure and analyze it to make sure the rider wears the helmet. If the threshold limit is crossed the corresponding controlling action will be taken, like issuing negative message to. 7. Result and Discussion An embedded system designed for smart helmet and quick ambulance response system and its components are shown in Figure 6 and 7. The embedded device is placed in particular area for testing purpose. Helmet Unit FSR sensor. The FSR sensor detects the pressure and analyzes it to make sure the rider wears the helmet. If the threshold limit is crossed, the corresponding controlling action will be taken, like issuing negative message to. 2. MQ3 alcohol sensor. MQ3 is very commonly used sensors in the MQ sensor group. It is a metal oxide semiconductor (MOS) type of sensor. Metal oxide sensors are known as chemiresistors, because sensing is based on the change of resistance of the sensing material when exposed to alcohol. So by placing it in a simple voltage divider network, alcohol concentrations can be detected. Reading description given below A. Bike unit. Bike unit has different components. At first, we have tested those components individually. The results which we have got are given below. After that, we have made the required embedded system using all the components together. MPU 6050 Acceleration and Gyro Sensor In this system we connect a Raspberry Pi with a module MPU 6050. This interface is used to read and print the value of accelerometer and gyroscope sensor. Python and C language can be used to interface the Raspberry Pi with MPU6050 module. The reading value from the module MPU6050 will be displayed on the terminal. When switch on the power supply, the GPS module takes few time to get ready for the different configuration as for a hot, warm, or cold start. When GPS module is wake up and if receiver can see the GPS satellites then it starts to attain its location and a LED will start blinking on the module. It gives us value of longitude and latitude. 8. Future work and conclusion. Future work. We can use a solar panel in the helmet to power the smart helmet by itself and it will also echo friendly. We can implement the whole circuit into small VLSI chip that can be embedded into the helmet and bike unit. We can create some machine learning model to reduce the false accident detection. We can improve the vehicle detection model to reduce the processing time load on microcontroller. This safety system technology can further be used into four-wheeler also by replacing helmet with seat belt. To reduce our project cost we did not use GSM module. But using GSM module we can send a message to the ambulance and pre-registered mobile know of the rider without internet where the internet connectivity is not available. Conclusion The two-wheeler safety system developed with smart helmet with quick ambulance response system is reliable and aims to help in the prevention, detection, and reporting of accidents, hence reducing the probability of the accident. Additionally, 
it offers several advantages over the existing methods of accident detection and notification using SMS and mobile application. Our proposed system provides a primary technique for prevention of the accidents and confirms a safety in two-wheelers for a greater extent. The severities of the two-wheeler accidents are increased because of the absence of helmet. By designing this system, a two-wheeler journey is possible with safety. It can reduce the head injuries if accidents are occurred. A GPS is used in this system to get the rider location. Our system will send a message with GPS coordinates to the predefined numbers that are programmed using microcontroller in case of any accident. The mobile application will help the driver to go to the location by finding the shortest and fastest route. At present this image processing requires high power CPU. Reliability on Raspberry Pi 4 for this image processing is not very high. To run the image processing in higher FPS, we need powerful CPU and minimum 4 GB RAM. Hence the cost is very high. In future we can improve the vehicle detection model to reduce the processing time load on the microcontroller by improving the algorithm and also we can develop a dedicated embedded system for this purpose. Acknowledgement We like to share our sincere gratitude to all those who help us in completion of this project. During the work we faced many challenges due to our lack of knowledge and experience but these people helped us to get over from all the difficulties and they helped to give in a proper shape of our idea in final compilation. In the end we would like to thank the management of Academy of Technology for providing us such an opportunity to learn from these experiences. We are also thankful to our whole class and most of all to our parents who have inspired us to face all the challenges and overcome all the hurdles in life.